And I'm trying not to be a hypocrite because, shit, let's think about the WAC 100 Keefe D thing. If Keefe D gets bonded out by WAC, all signs point to WAC getting some type of check and giving Keefe D a check for the, the, the production of either a movie or a documentary about the killing of Tupac. So, try not to be a hypocrite here, but... Um, I don't know. I, I think one thing was very clear to me. People on the West Coast don't give a fuck about Pop Smoke. Like, Pop Smoke was just like, eh. on the East Coast, the nigga was the, he was the next coming, right? And, and maybe that's just a disconnect between coasts because I think a lot of people on the what on the East Coast, they don't give a fuck about West Coast shit. Like, if you ask the average person on the East Coast, Yo, Drake, yo, the ruler died. They're going to be like, okay, they don't care. If you ask people on the West Coast, it's a big deal, right? So so maybe it's just a, a coastal disconnect. Nevertheless, um, I'm not going to show the video. And if I'm not going to show the video, I mean, you guys are going to look it up if you want to. But um, if I'm not going to show the video, let's just move on, right? Okay. So, it, uh, unfortunately, we're still talking about death. But uh, Fulio. Oh, my God. Now, it's on TMZ, so I guess we could play it since TMZ's on it. They do put a warning sticker graphic video. It says, new video shows the moment the gunman opened fire point blank. Now, remember when we covered this whole Fulio situation? We were actually, like, trying to figure out what was the situation. Remember, I was saying it looked like the car was at a complete stop in a parking spot damn near. And maybe they were trying to book the hotel and they're just sitting idly in the car. Somebody walks up or drives up. At first that it was mentioned in the reports, they said it was a, a almost like a drive-by, like a car, like people fired from a car. Clearly here you can see from the still, there's a guy standing outside of a vehicle with a gun in his hand. Now, I want to just, again, give trigger warning. There's no blood, no gore, no body. However, watching somebody pretty much in the midst of taking somebody's life could be very triggering. And um, I just want to put that out there before we play it. So this is a video, I think it was leaked by somebody who worked at the um, hotel from, from what I was hearing. And some people had hit me that they said, which fucking holiday in man, like pay your fucking, your fucking employees. Like I hear they were trying to sell videos and a weird shit for like, yo, $1,500. And I'm like, ill. <laughs> like, first of all, like, Bro, you gonna sell a picture of a, de a man's deceased body for fifteen hundred bucks? And I get it, you don't get paid too much at work, but it's like, bro, like that feels good in your spirit, I guess, right? Anyway, once again, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. Okay, now uh, before we even play it, it looks like this guy has um, it's a rifle, but it looks like it's a short barrel rifle. Almost looks like it might be like a Draco or something of the sort, which would be a mini AK-47. Uh, let's play and see what we see. Once again, trigger warning. Um, if you're not comfortable with seeing this, um, maybe click off the stream for a couple of minutes and then come back. Okay. So now we're going to do a little detective work here, but not too much. Once they have this, they probably already got the whole thing, right? We're going to see two people. You see one guy here. Do you see Do you see it, chat? He runs on the bottom, the bottom right of the screen. There's a light here that's kind of blinding the camera, so you barely see him, but it's two. You see him right here? You see him? And then you see him better here now that he's blocking the light. So he's going to run this way, and the other guy is going to run this way. So they clearly knew what car it was. I don't know if they were waiting in the parking lot. I don't know how they got the drop. That's going to be the big conversation piece. How did they get the drop on these guys, right? Now, keep in mind, um, I, I've heard certain theories about this. I don't want to echo without having some more c concrete proof. Um, but But one of the theories was that, his ops or whoever was in the parking lot of the last place. Now, if you don't remember the last place we had pulled it up, it was like this, um, it was like this hookah spot, right? Fulio hookah, hookah lounge, right? It was like this hookah spot that, um, oh, shit, no, 
uh, all right, I'm not going to go back into like Googling it. There's a hookah lounge that had this parking lot. Apparently dudes were like sitting in it. Fulio goes up. He's like, yo, we were mad people. Apparently he was already being followed from the club that they were at before. Um, maybe he knew. And maybe that's why he was talking to the camera, maybe trying to scare off the people that might be following him. Like, yo, I got hella niggas with me. So you don't want no problem with me. I got hella people with me. So he he pretty much goes and um, he basically goes and he goes to the hookah spot, has a bunch of people with him. I hear everybody disperses afterwards. Now it's after moves. It's like four o'clock, right? It's after moves. So now, you know, come on. You know, they always say, ain't nothing open at 4 o'clock but legs and 7-Eleven, right? Like, unless you buy the fuck, ain't nothing about to be open. So I could imagine he's trying to figure out a place to stay. They got kicked out of the Airbnb. He drives to a place where there's two different hotels. There's a home to and a, and a, and a um, what's it called, Holiday Inn. So they, uh, from what I hear, they were trying to get a room. Not sure if they had a room. However... You know, I had previously thought the car was sitting in a parking spot. It looked like the car was kind of like driving, right? And um, apparently they went there from the hookah spot. This spot is about seven minutes away. We looked all this up on the map already. So this spot was seven minutes away from the last spot they were at, which is at the hookah spot. Now, again, we, we had the conversation. If somebody's following you and you're, it's not like one straight road. Like you have to make some turns. You could probably like, yo, why this nigga following me? So it looked like somebody got the drop somehow. There's a theory or, you know, we even kind of came up with a theory before I even heard it from other people too. You know, you know when niggas about to go check in the hotel, they then texting the bitches from the spot. Yo, where you at? Yo, come through, the, come through, blah, blah, blah. So maybe that's how they got it. Regardless, it, it seemed like the guys were waiting around already. So you see one guy here and then you're going to see the other guy here. And then you're going to see the, you're going to see the car. Now, he's already shooting. You can tell he's shooting into this direction. And I don't know if the car was parked at that time or it was rolling. Maybe it was parked and he throws into drive and he's trying to drive off. But they drive off essentially into the direction where the shooter is at. Right? And he keeps, he keeps going. He keeps, like this guy, he's shooting. And you could tell... Every time a shot is going off, you'll see like a, a slight spark by the barrel. The other guy, we don't know where he went. He's not captured on this um, um, video. By the way, you could tell this is official surveillance footage. It says park inside south, right? Um, it actually also says the time. It says 4.37, 4.37 a.m. in the morning, right? Look, you're going to see the shots. One, two, three. And he's, he's he's going, 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 going. Now, I, I got to think the people in the back who were hit was probably when the car went um, almost like parallel and he started shooting like the passenger and shit. Because if he's shooting directly at whoever's driving, I think Fulio was driving, if you ask me. Actually, I think he was because there's another gruesome picture I won't show y'all where his body's found and looks like he was like kind of ducking down because obviously if you're in a car, if you're not bulletproof, the center third, the windows, the bullets are going to come through even the doors. But if you're being shot at directly, there's an engine block. And if you kind of get down low enough, it's a good possibility, not guaranteed that the bullets might be, might be diverted or it won't get through the engine block to shoot you. Right. Um, so I, I hear he was kind of ducking down and then, trying to almost get in the back seat, right? You know, obviously, if they're shooting through the front window, you want to get not be in the front seat, right? And apparently, uh, according to one of these gruesome pictures, I'm not sh sure if that's all the way true, but it looks like, I hate that I'm describing this to you, but he passed away with, like, his face, like, like aiming to go in the back seat, but, like, like, he, he turned his body away from the, the, the windshield, probably after he got shot multiple times. It's gruesome. I'm, I'm sorry, chat. Okay, okay, okay. So he's shooting, he's shooting. We don't know where the other shooter is. Yeah, I don't know if they were trying to hit him or they're just trying to get away. Probably just trying to get away, right? Yeah, you, you could see the multiple shots being fired. You, you're going to see, watch this car right here. You're going to see it being lit up. You see, that that's, yeah. 
yeah, those are, those are, okay. Now, this is the only surveillance footage we have. Um, it says, shocking new video makes it clear that Florida rapper Julio Fulio almost had no time to react. When gunmen approached him outside a hotel and fired into his car, killing him, the shooting went down in Tampa on June 23rd, just two days after the Jacksonville native 26th birthday, and the surveillance video from the shared parking lot of a Hilton and a Holiday Inn, so the home to is a Hilton hotel, shows the gunman waiting for Fulio's black car. Um, Fully had been in town celebrating with friends. And when the party moved from Airbnb to the hotel, a move he chronicled all over IG, all over his IG shortly before shoot. This is can't do before for my birthday, man. This is them at the hookah spot before they left. Deep as hell. We deep as hell. Twenty deep. Lit everywhere we go. Obviously, this is them roping everything off. We don't know if that was Fulio, but this is the scene of the vehicle. Um, peppered with a lot of bullet holes. Okay. Um, so this new video unfolds with a masked gunman dashing through the parking lot, blah, blah, with what seems like a semi-automatic weapon. The car hits the curb and Fully and company tries to speed around the corner and dodge a hail of bullets. There appears to be other gunmen in the distance as well um this was the mom who said a rip rest in peace son charles jones second fulio the real his life documentary is coming soon i don't know why i thought that was odd as soon as you you say rest in peace my son you say his documentary is coming soon like holy shit the story that only i can tell because i know the truths from the fakes i think i'm the only mother that kept it real while most others know damn well what was going on with their own sons this has been going on since 2014 and 2015. Some of these same women celebrating your death. Some of the same women who, uh, same woman looked up to me. What? Some of the same women celebrating your death is the same woman looked up to me sitting in my building. I was their teacher. They were my students at a big grown age taking notes. Let's not forget that. The same woman that was buying your CDs for their kids. Let's not forget that. The same woman. Sons did the same thing you did. Went tit for tat on this drill music in which I never condoned. Motherfuckers ask, where is his mom? It starts from the home. Them not knowing I stayed on you about his beef shit. Cussed you out, beg you to take stuff down. And when I, oh my God, his mom was shot eight times? When I was shot eight times, I spared their lives, even though mine was changed. Ten years plus ago, you started this music stuff in Jacksonville, Florida. And had all the teen parties turned, caught mega buses to Atlanta at 16 for your career. I think your first interview there was with DJ Small Eyes. But I'll talk about this later in the documentary. I do want to thank those who believed in him at age 17 when he moved to Atlanta. Rap Coalition, Zaytoven, especially Young Thug and others with an impact on his career. The untold truth only I can tell coming soon. Special thanks to... Mark Lyon Jr. and Create Music. So much more on release coming soon. Now, his account that's been posted and posted this. Says he's here. Going to shock the world when the time is right. Game over. The game has just begun. Oh my God. All right. 
Okay. Now, if we look at his page, yo, he's still posting. From what from what I understand, um, his family is working with people who are still posting on his behalf. Now, I think all this will fizzle out in a month. But they're trying to get their money. They're trying to get their paper. Maybe it's for the burial. I don't know if he had kids. Maybe they're trying to secure the future of everybody used to provide for. Some of y'all might think it's distasteful. But from what I understand, his family and his mom is in agreement with what is happening. By the way, if you think he's alive... I can assure you he is deceased. He's not alive. He's dead. Now, the, the thing with this, and, and I'm wondering how they're going to play it. The only way you get to play this type of game, like, oh, he might be alive. He might be whatever, is if you don't even announce or you don't even acknowledge the fact that he is going to get buried. If he gets buried, maybe, maybe gets cremated. I do think some of his fans might want some closure, right? Again, that's not him that's running the account. And, and, and it's it's okay. Like, I I mean, I don't want to tell these people what to do, but, you know, to act like this guy is still alive while he's on ice or sitting in a casket somewhere is crazy. I 100% I think that's crazy. Even if you're saying, well, this is the most traction he's ever got. We could get some money to help the family out. Cool. I think fans would be cool with, like, an AI version of him. Like, it's almost like leads into this metaverse version of him. Knowing that he's deceased, but this, these were his intentions the whole time. You get what I mean? Like, yeah, hey, listen, y'all know he always was beefing with niggas. So we're going to have an AI metaphysical version of him that's going to still be doing that. All right, cool. But to act like he's still alive while wow, this guy is completely dead is crazy. This whole demigod thing, it's not demigod. We're all human. Um, so they're milking it for what it's worth right now. But um, they posted this other thing, too. Do we Dembella? Varencella Santaria. Oya Shango. Lienya Makumba. Give me the power, I beg of you. Are they do we dembella? Okay, so they're acting like, you know, through some sorcery, he's still alive. He's dead, people. He's 100% dead. Um, not going to knock people trying to make their money or the family who, you know, uh, like, I can't even look down in this and be like, oh, my God, this is so distasteful. Primarily, the, the majority of his music career was about promoting death. And laughing at other people's death. So if the family says, all right, well, he died. Let's just use his death and make the best of it, if that makes sense. And they want to act like he's still alive. Uh, I guess, you know, he's still beefing with people. <laughs> I don't know if y'all yeah, yeah, have seen. Oh, the nigga's still beefing. He's still beefing. He's still calling Young and Ace a goofy. Or not him, but whoever's running the account. But again, everything is with the mom's you know, approval, shit, if, you know, niggas was beefing on earth, if they want to portray that they're beefing, he's beefing in, in heaven or hell, um, I guess so, I guess so, now, there's been a lot of, uh, um, there's been a lot of, uh, repercussions that's came with this, that, that's why another reason I'm shocked that this account is posting, like, he ain't dead, and nothing is going on. Apparently, people have been dying left and right. Um, let me see if I could pull up some of the shit that, or some of the, you know. Okay. Now, hold on, let me, let me actually follow find real shit because I want to say shit without without anybody having some proof because I've heard about s several people dying 
I don't know if it's on Young and A's side, but it's people that that clearly Fulio didn't like. And I guess retaliation is happening very rapidly. Let me see. Let me see. Where the hell is it? Yeah, I just want to put rumors out there. Like, they were saying some guy named Leaky, his brother, got killed recently. Um, like, people were just, like, cataloging the the murders that, that's happened since Fulio died and how it's clearly um, repercussion or, or, like, retaliatory shootings. Let me see if I can find... Uh... I'm trying to see if I can find it, but I can't. I can't find the shit. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, where is it at? All right, all right, I'm not going to, again, I don't want to propagate some of this bullshit. Because sometimes I read too much into it. All right, anyway. um, Let me see, let me see, let me see. Da, da, da. Is there any more information? Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. Because these other guys, if I if I bring it up, y'all just won't know them. Like y'all just really won't know them. And by the way, yeah, here's here this is how crazy the person running this page is. It says surveillance shooter, surveillance show shooter creeped up on Fulio at the holiday inn. Man, first off, I wanna say R.I.P. to Fulio, man. My condolences before I speak the facts of how you feel me life really works the energy that you put out into the universe is the energy that you will receive back and i really think that people like fulio young and ace and all those people they're products of their environments man they grew up you feel me and that's all they knew kill 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 murder 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 like you grow up in poor neighborhoods and you're around the people oh who's the one gang out of my the the drug dealers the scammers the ones robbing people like that's what they look up to and you know there's always different sides bro different gangs all that I genuinely, I feel bad for Fulio, bro, because I, like, ever since he got shot on the foot and I seen the picture, I'm just like, bro, who wants to live like this? And like Academic said, he probably said, bro, it's my birthday. Like, I had to be on edge every single day. And the one day he let loose, he got drunk, he got lit, he was enjoying himself. He lost his life on his birthday, bro. Like, I kept seeing comments of people saying, oh, his birthday gift was death. It's like, the thing with something like that is he joked about someone else dying on their birthday. Like, the 23 dude, I'm pretty sure he made the, if you look up the When I See You, Julio song, like, he was, like, at the graveyard, like, doing all that. Like, the energy you put out is what you're going to receive back. This is a prime example. Like, leave all that dissing stuff alone. Now, Fulio's gonna be, you feel me? Like, every diss song, like, everyone from ATK and all those people, they're all gonna drop their diss songs on Fulio now. 
and he's just going to make their careers get bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, it's crazy to say. I don't know if a lot of you guys believe in God and stuff, and I never want to wish, like, bad on somebody. But, bro, the way Fulio lived his life and the antics that he went on with, I'm, I hope that he is in a better place, but most likely, you feel me, he's looking up right now, if you get what I'm saying. He's looking up at all of this. Not down on us, he's looking up. Yeah. But, bro, it's, the whole situation is just sad, bro. Like, certain interviews I listen to Fulio, I don't think Fulio is necessarily a bad person. It's just, like, all these people, they have hand their heart because actions and reactions. Oh, you killed my homeboy, so I'm going to kill yours. You killed my brother, so I'm going to kill yours. You killed my girlfriend, so I want to kill your family. Like, it's just it's just a never-ending cycle. And now the people on the other side, they're going to laugh, giggle, hee-hee, ha-ha. Oh, Fulio's dead. I mean, Fulio put it on into the universe heavy. He was dissing everybody, laughing at it. If someone, if Young and Ace died, Fulio would be having a field day right now. So I don't blame Young and Ace for anything that he's doing. You feel me? You can't be mad at Young and Ace for what he's doing right now because Fulio would be doing the same exact thing. So hopefully they pop it while it lasts, bro. Um, Fulio, you feel me? I'm just gonna say or assume he died doing what he loved doing, bro. Like, he 26 is old for, for like the type of lifestyle he was living. And also, one thing I'd want to say if you know all your ops are in Florida and they all want to kill you, bro, and they're probably lurking your social medias, like your birthday, if his birthday is the 23rd, if your birthday is the 23rd. And you know damn well, bro, that your ops have has a homeboy named 23. And you're posting up in your story this, this, that. Oh.